I've seen a lot of robot pets. This one's different. Yes, find your voice. Okay. Hi there. Oh, he's gonna give you kisses. Oh, well, there's a lot going on here. We're getting an early look at a prototype of Wowie's latest robot pet, Doggy. Yes, that's you. Oh, oh yes. This is a toy where Every kid's gonna get a different personality, different eyes, different colors, different barks. It all depends on how he comes out of the box. Oh, excuse you. There's a lot of personality in here. And to describe everything that this dog can do, including talk through its tail, is toy creator Sydney Reisman from Wowie. So we're still trying to figure out exactly what the full capacity of what he's going to do. But what we know a few things for sure, he'll tell you when he's hungry, so you have to feed him. He needs your love. He'll know when he's being lifted. He'll know when you touch his nose, so he actually can give kisses, touch nose to his cheek, and he'll give you a kiss, he'll lick you back. Every child will have a, a unique dog based from the first time they take it out of the box. For... It just randomizes? Yeah, there's some sort of method to the madness in terms of how fast they do certain things, or and you just ge it generates a one in, in a million, actually one in 35 million. <laughs> all right, so what are all the things that can be uh, different? So you get, different eyes, so the shape of the eye, the color of the eye, you don't know which eyes you're gonna get. Super rare, if you get one that is like blue and pink, two different color eyes, that means you got a really rare dog. Another really fun thing, his tongue is actually going to be even something that we're doing as a mystery. So pink is the most common. You may get a blue tongue like a chow, and then you're looking for the gold tongue. So one in a few will have a gold tongue as well. So when you take him out of the box, you won't know until he licks you what color tongue that you got. His ears. Some ears will be down, some ears one are up, one's down. So also, which ears are you gonna get? And then above all, his personality. So different barks, different speeds at how fast he runs. We have robot dog barks, we have some more yappy, like high-pitched dog barks, like chihuahua, and some more like deep barks. <laughs> this little robot dog with a deep bark. I like, I like the variety here. See what colors we got? Oh, we got gold eyes and blue yeah. feet. So every time it's different, it's and so blue tail. fun. And a blue tail. Okay, let's see. Are you gonna find your bark for us? <laughs> this whole thing too, to find the timing, to make it feel like a movie is really, really important to me. Okay, there we go. Now you're good. Are you gonna give me a kiss now or no? There we go. Oh, so he gives kisses. He knows when you're petting. And he'll wag and show you that oh, he loves so being hard. pet. Yeah. It's so fun. So all the touch, like, it's so funny. Another thing that you don't realize is how kids play with their toys. So we had a focus group testing just on how do you lift your dog so he knows when he's actually being, so like where do we put the pet sensors on his side so it knows how a kid will lift him and know that he's in their hand. So when connected to the app, we're playing on this thing of a digital dog house. So you're gonna have this digital dog house where you can store things like rainbow treats. So you could flick him. You can give him a rainbow treat and he goes completely rainbow. Um, as There's all different games, so you win all of these different things that you can give him, so the treats. Another thing, for example, your dog may get sick and he gets a virus, and the only way to make his virus to go away is to have the, find the antidote. So you have to go play games to find the antidote and then you'll get your happy dog again and he comes back to life. Um, food, so he'll tell you through his tail. Oh, I see the bone. Yeah, yeah. so the bone that he wants is food and then you can feed him and again, he'll be happy. He always shows rainbow lights as his way of being like, yay, you did what I wanted. He'll also have a happy face emoticon on his tail that he wags when he's really happy. So kind of like like a Tamagotchi meets a robot dog meets uh, everything you've always wanted. He's able to do tricks, so he'll be able to sing. That's, he's singing a song right now. Again, the motors right now are much louder than that they will be in the final product. That is something that we always see with these prototypes because they're handmade, but. Um, one of my favorite things is you can put him in a seating position and then you can make him sit, howl. <laughs> the 
the beauty of this toy is that it's one for the family. So in the app, you can create multiple profiles and I could mint a dog, you can mint a dog, we can pull up our different dogs, they'll be completely different and they remember you and how you played with them when you last played. Yeah, that, that's important. Not everyone wants to always have, you know, the kid with the phone around them. Yeah. So, like, you don't need the phone. It interacts with, like, a toy, like a sample sock uh, that would come with it, right? Is that what exactly. it would be? Exactly. Certain things we did without the app. So you can feed him multiple more things in the app, but with if you just hold down on his nose, for example, when he says he's hungry, he'll eat. Mm -hmm. Or when he needs affection, when you lift him or when you touch him to his nose, it helps his affection meter. So you can do everything without the app. All right, we're in prototype mode now for it to come out in the holiday of 2023. So tell us about what we're seeing on this model, what might change. Yeah, so basically this is a handcrafted robot dog. So he's really, he's one in a million, truly. He's one, he's a one of one, this guy. And right now they everything's hand painted. So even the finishing on his, on his face, they were testing out two different types of textures for me to see, so a more of a glossy one versus more of a matte. I ended up picking the matte. I find it it's able to see the color, the lights of his eyes the best, which is most important to the brand. We were also looking at testing different, the light diffusion in his paws, the light diffusion in his chest, making sure that everything feels really lit when he's on. When we first saw our, our first prototype early, early, the motion of his head was so bobbly and it felt really lifelike and puppy. And obviously that makes it a bit more harder to manufacture to say the least, but it was one of those things. They always ask me, what am I gonna fight for? And I was like, I'm fighting for his bobbly head. I think it makes it really special. It makes it so that he, he's able to lick, he's able to run, you get the floppiness of a puppy. And that was really, really crucial to the product development personally. You'll see the, the neck also, something that we're, we're figuring out. Again, back to the idea of not losing his floppy head, but also not having where little kids can get their fingers pinched is a really fine line of <laughs> making, finding the exact right, perfect uh, way to do it. So that's what we've been testing between these two samples as well and making sure they all pass all the safety testing. Uh, the tail, the tail is a really, really important one. I think, I don't know why no one has ever done a persistence of vision wagging tail for a dog before, but very excited that this is, I think, gonna be one of the favorite features that we've been seeing, especially in our testing, of being able to customize what your dog's tail says. And with that, we have to make sure a few things, that the icons are completely legible and understandable. So you see a bone and you know he wants food, or you see the toy and you know you have to play with him, or hearts that he really loves what you're doing. So we right now are testing a 100 different Emo uh, emoticons or icons to see which ones are going to display the best <laughs> on this tail. Okay, so when can we expect it? How much will he be? So we are going to take, start taking pre-orders at CES mm -hmm. and he'll be available in October for holiday mm -hmm. and he'll be $79.99. We're gonna see you soon. Yes, we are. Hey, do you wanna come, come play with us out in the office while you're here? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go. I'm so glad Doggy could visit us today because he's just so cute and it's fun to see a prototype and see where this goes when it comes out later this year. Let me know in the comments what you think about Doggy and if you got something like this, would you want it to be totally random out of the box? Would you want to be able to customize it to do certain things? Give me your feedback. See you next time when you come out soon. Oh, oh. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Good luck in your production, little guy. I'm, I'm rooting for you. You're so cute. We need more cute robots. Just saying. I love it.